RAE tubes are named after their inventors, Ring, Adair, and Elwin, who described the use of their novel oral preformed tube in pediatric patients in 1975. RAE tubes were designed with the intention to facilitate intraoral and some types of facial surgery by keeping the part of the ET tube outside of the patient away from the surgeon's access. The distinguishing feature of RAE tube in comparison to standard ET tube is their different preform bend. The preforming during manufacturing reduces the risk of kinking and obstruction which could occur if a standard ET tube was bent into the same shape as a RAE tube. A black marker bar is imprinted on the tube at the point of maximum angle of the bend. RAE endotracheal tubes are otherwise designed the same way as standard orotracheal tubes, that is, they have the same left facing bevel tip, Murphy eye, the cuff design, and the length diameter markings. Now, oral RAE tubes are also described as south facing, that is, the tube connector facing towards the patient's feet after placement, while Nasal RAE tubes are also known as north facing, that is, the tube connector facing towards the patient's head after placement. The indications for placing an oral RAE tube are purely surgical, that is, each use removes the tube connector and anesthetic breeding circuit from the surgical field or access to the surgical field. Again, the indications for placing the nasal RAE tube are mainly surgical and the nasal RAE tube is also the go-to device for many practitioners when performing an awake nasal fiber optic intubation. One disadvantage of the nasal RAE tube is that the depth of the tube insertion is very much predetermined by the tube's preform shape, that is, the bend of the oral and the nasal RAE will always want to sit just at the lower lip and at the nostril respectively, not allowing you much flexibility as to how deeply you can place the tube into the trachea. In some patients, especially very tall or short ones, it might be difficult to achieve a good tube fit together with the correct insertion depth, which avoids accidental bronchial intubation or cuff placement between the vocal cords. The oral RAE tube is best secured by taping it midline to the skin between the lower lip and the chin. Use a white tape or a bio-occlusive dressing to get as big a surface area of contact between the tube, the skin, and tape as possible.